What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, it's a very short video. I just wanted to show you what my setup is now for the video that I'm shooting for you guys right here. I haven't messed around with these lights ever since I shot the last video. Been kind of busy, but I do want to show you what my settings are for what I am doing for this video. So you guys can maybe take away some information from this and utilize it for yourselves. First thing you're going to do is make sure that you got your Elgato light app already in installed onto your phone. That's the only way that you can really control the temperature of the lights. Just make sure that you have that downloaded and make sure that you have a Wi-Fi connection so you can remotely change the temperature and the brightness of these lights. So what I have are two different lights. I have one that is up here and one that is right behind me sitting on the floor, bouncing light off onto the wall, giving the room a little bit more texture, a little bit more brightness, a little bit more off to what you're seeing right now. If I go ahead and, and show you this, this is the app we have the we have the first light that's up on top being directed towards me and we have the other light which is the secondary one down here which is the one that is on the floor so the way that i set up these lights there's a thing called rembrandt lighting and i did my best to get the rembrandt lighting for this room here for this setting it's just a little basic setting nothing too extreme nothing too fancy or anything like that i have this light right here that's bouncing light onto my face and what it's doing it is creating this triangular light that is on the dark side of the face so we have the light here brightening up this side of my face but also leaving almost a triangle look triangle light on this side of the face i've been learning a lot about lighting and difference with angles of light just trying to get better with all of it there's a lot to it but it's a perfect time to try it out perfect time to mess it up and see what i do wrong and what i can learn from the things that i do wrong but in any case i have this light that's bouncing onto my face here and it's directed almost at like a 45 degree angle and it's also kind of bouncing off the wall here too i do have some light in the background that that's coming in through the window did my best to kind of dim out but there's still some light coming in through the back the light in the back is just daylight that's coming through and it's kind of showing like almost like a bluish hue to the light that's coming through i'm utilizing the light coming in through the window as background light as well i know that it's pretty much uncontrollable but the thing that's cool about these lights is that you can control the temperature and the brightness of these two lights or do you prefer just one light then you have one light to mess around with so the settings that i have for this light right here above is something like this i have it at 6500 kelvin and i have the brightness at about i think 30 30 percent so if i do crank the brightness want to show you that so if I do crank this brightness all the way to let's say 50 percent that's 50 percent so it's pretty bright it depends on the way that you want to light your footage your subject this is pretty bright this is pretty good too but it's all dependent upon the mood that you want to take for your video the mood that you want to capture for your video that's another thing that you want to keep in mind I'm messing around with right now this general let's go back down to 30 percent here I'm messing around with this thing called Rembrandt lighting and it's one of the most iconic lighting scenarios that you could set up for yourself and that is to have a light at a 45 degree angle bouncing onto the face of your subject and it creates a very bright section of the face on one side and then it creates this almost triangle effect on the dark side of the face you see that a lot in cinematography a lot of that in a lot of movies and that's the one iconic light it, it shows depth it shows emotion and it's pretty general yeah i kind of wanted to mess around with that right now for this video let's also talk about the backlight so i'm using another elgato key light in the back to brighten up the background a little bit so if i shut that off this is what it would look like again my key light is at 30 percent and it's at 6500 kel i'm going to shut off the secondary light in the background so let's go ahead and do that tap that off and you can see how the background kind of dimmed out because we still got this light bouncing some light off onto the wall here, but let's turn it back on. Boom, it adds a little bit more light in the back, gives me a little bit more depth from me being so blended into the background. But if I shut it off one more time, let's shut that off. You see how I kind of fade to darkness a little bit more. So it depends on the mood that you want to go for, but we'll turn that back on for this part of the video. My secondary light right now is at 7,000 Kelvin. So it's the coldest that this temperature that it could get at. Let's slide that one up. Let's slide the secondary light up all the way to 100%. So let's go ahead and do that. And what you'll notice is the background kind of turned orange. Let's turn it down all the way back to 7,000. 
the background kind of gets back to normal the way that I wanted it. And then let's go back up to 100 again. And you see a little light in the corner, which is really cool right now since it's a little overcasty outside, more blue light is coming in, orange light is behind my shoulder. So that's another thing to take into account is orange and teal very much complement each other in color. And you see that a lot in cinematic, in a cinematic setting. For my setting, I like to go kind of a little bit less than that. I'm going all the way down to 7,000 cal. The light behind me is also set at a percentage of 15%. So let's take that 15% and raise it all the way to 100%. So there you go. It is now all the way up to 100% on the brightness. Let's bring it down to, let's bring it down to 50%. That's what it looks like at 50%. Let's bring it down now to 15 again. And there it is at 15%. So that's the way that I want this video to look. It's really up to what you want for your video. There's no perfect right or wrong way to light, but if you want to get a certain point across, whether that be vocalization or lighting or both, mood setting, color of light, you know, there's a lot of factors that are involved with creating the type of content that you want to create. So if you are getting into lighting, I suggest these lights. I'm using them. These are actually gaming lights, streaming lights, and they work perfectly perfectly for the setting and the space that I have currently. I'm pretty excited to mess around with a little bit more as we get different lighting in here. If I film at a different time of day, maybe I will have to change the brightness. Who knows? But it's a lot of fun. It's pretty intuitive. Just download the app, Elgato, and mess around with the settings. There's only two of them on here, so you won't mess it up too much for yourself if you are beginning with these lights. These lights are pretty awesome. Just for this video, let's just shut off all the lights to see what that would look like. So let's shut off the backlight. And I'll shut off the key light right in front of me. So it's completely dark. My setting right now, I have all the room lights off. So these lights that I have give off the effect of mood that I want to create. All right guys, so thanks for watching this video. I know it was a quick video on lighting. Didn't really go too in depth with everything, but hopefully this video will help you out. Deciding if you wanna get some lighting for your videos, they do put a lot of emphasis on dramatic effect and whatever way that you wanna stage your lighting, the way that you wanna position your lighting, that's all up to you on terms of what you want to portray through your video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content just like this, hit the subscribe button, turn the little bell notification on top of this page here. You will see more videos just like this. Thanks for watching. It's been real. Keep it real. You know what it is. Deuces.